Hi, my name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes, we're going to take a look at my three favorite features in this release of Lightroom. I'm going to start in the color panel and display all of the new color grading options. So we can do everything that we could do before in split toning. For example, I can add a color tone to the shadows of my image, as well as a color tone to the highlights in the image. And then I can use the balance slider in order to control what tonal ranges Lightroom considers to be a shadow or a highlight. But now there's so much more. This third color wheel is going to enable me to add an additional color to the midtones. I use the outside wheel in order to select my hue, and then I use the inner wheel in order to increase or decrease the amount of saturation. Now in this photograph, I want to keep my highlights clean, so I'll double click in order to reset that so I'm only adding color to the shadows and the midtones. For even more control, I can use the luminance sliders underneath each color wheel in order to darken or lighten the values. And this is important because changing the hue and saturation can change our perception of the luminance. In addition, lifting the blacks or darkening the whites enables color to be added to the pure black and pure white. Although in this image, I'm actually going to decrease the luminance slider, making the edges of the petal pop. Then in the midtones, I'm going to increase the luminance slider in order to lighten the midtones. Now we can use the blending slider in order to control how the color tints cross over. So moving the slider to the left means that the blues in the shadows and the magentas in the midtones will stay separate while moving to the right is going to enable them to blend together. This is especially useful if you're adding tints in all three color ranges if you want the midtone color to stand on its own and not be muddied by the shadows and the highlights. Now for more control, we can use the detailed views for each of the shadows, midtones, and highlights or we can remain in the three color view and option or alt drag in order to make finer adjustments. All right, I'm gonna to go to grid view by tapping the G key and then let's switch to Lightroom Mobile. I'm gonna select that same flower, tap on color and then on grading. Here we have separate color wheels for the shadows, the midtones, as well as the highlights because working in the three color view would just be too crowded on this device. I'm gonna make some changes to these shadows, making them a little bit warmer, taking them more towards the reds. Then I'll move to the midtones, and I'm gonna move them towards the yellows. I'll tap done, and I like this, but what about that blue version? Well, not to worry, because my second favorite feature is auto versions. If we move to the versions panel, we can see our original version and our current version under the named versions, but if I tap on auto, we can see that Lightroom has automatically created a saved version when I finished making my edits to the image on the desktop and return to the grid view. Let's save the current version as a new version, I'll call it orange, and then move to auto tap on the purple version, tap the three dots, and then save this as a named version. Tap Save, and Lightroom will save those versions and synchronize them between all of my devices. All right, let's take a look at my third favorite feature. It was quite difficult to choose between the ability to use graphics in watermarks on mobile, see how I snuck that in, and the improvements to the Learn and Discover content. I'll tap on Learn, and not only are there great tutorials that you can learn from, you can tap on any author in order to follow them, and we can look at other work that they've contributed. I can tap in order to view the edits that have been made to this image, and if I want to apply them to my own image, I can scroll down and save that as a preset that I can then apply to my own images. And now on mobile, in both the Learn and the Discovery panel, there's a new For You tab that will automatically make recommendations for tutorials and discover content based on the edits and the tutorials that you've explored and liked. 
With that, unfortunately, we are out of time. I hope everyone stays safe and enjoy the rest of Adobe Max.